How's it going guys? Um, is it too late to cover the new Windcraft update teaser? I mean, it's definitely too late to do an analysis because there's already like maybe four people who've already done that. Hmm. Oh, I know. During the lead up to the new Windcraft teaser, Windcraft dropped this bingo right here. We now know in retrospect that not everything on this bingo was true. But considering the trailer's end potentially imply there's still stuff they've yet to have shown us, I decided I'll cover what hasn't been confirmed from most to least likely. Because there's some stuff on this bingo that feel like freebies, whereas others seem literally impossible. Before we get to that, let's quickly cross off what was confirmed. Reworks of specific dungeons. When examining the trailer, Witherhead no longer has a bow, which means that the main mechanic of the decrepit sewers has changed. Alongside this, the actual visuals look greatly overhauled. This alone confirms it, and there's also the new respawn mechanic, Slycar's new slippery ass, and Theorek's new skin, which is a major upgrade by the way. Bro looks like the spooky. Features from the newer Minecraft versions. I can almost guarantee you that none of the stuff in this trailer would have been possible in older versions of Minecraft, so it's probably absolutely confirmed. Plus, they tweeted that Win will support 1.21 recently, so yeah. Town or City revamps. In the trailer, you can literally see a revamped version of Bremen Law. If that's not a confirmation, nothing is. World bosses. There's footage of this Moai guy, which I know is an updated world boss, so confirmed. There's also an easily missed detail I spotted post-production. In the trailer, there's this big red fella. All new form of repeatable content. The major world event is repeatable, so confirmed. Ability tree changes or additions. You can now put these spicy, fiery looking crystals onto your ability tree, so this is confirmed. Removal of soul points. They're... They're gone. This makes me so... Glad. Soul points were a system which only made an impact on the early game since lower level accounts have less of them and puts an arbitrary timer to literally stop playing the game or soul point grind to get them back. I literally personally know a player who tried the server, ran out of soul points since it was early game, had to quit for them to replenish, ended up behind the group level wise and ended up never playing the server again. Confirmed and good bloody riddance. Now that that's out of my system, music changes. On the website, there's a little teaser for an updated Orpheon theme. Go to the website if you want to listen to the full clip, but like... If that's how it sounds in game, that's amazing. Confirmed. Dungeons slash Forgery Rework The website states something about giving the player an extra life while dungeoning because you're gonna need it. This change by itself I'd say counts as both a rework and indicating a big change to go with it. Confirmed. Early game changes. Technically one of the rebuilds was on the road to Deathless, and that's an early game change. So confirmed. Return of Swarms. Whoa, look at all these swarms. I'd feel so much nostalgia if I was around for these, which I wasn't, but it's still a cool mechanic though. <laughs> Confirmed. Raid rework. Raids have been greatly enhanced and reworked. Lol. Mob system rework. We've redesigned our mob system from the ground up. Also confirm, like, the website just states both of these in plain text. Something cool. Alright, what's something cool in the update? You know what, I'm just gonna vent out some enthusiasm. There are 300 new custom models for the mobs in the game! That's stupid! Like, each new model is gonna breathe so much more life into these mobs, allow their combat abilities to be more sight readable, and to top it all off, we've probably only seen like 10% of them so far. That's amazing. Right, now let's get to what's not confirmed. First, a couple which I'd say are highly likely meaning they're all but officially confirmed. These features are... Guild Rework I'm not sure if guild raiding counts as a full rework, but it says during the beta they'll talk more about it and other minor changes, so I'd say this is super likely. New Boss Alter Sure, we haven't seen a new one of these in like forever, but why not? 
With 300 plus new models in the game, I think one of them being a new boss and a new altar makes sense. Now we're stepping into less likely, but still likely territory. I could see them realistically adding these, but there's a chance they won't be. These features are... The Jungle Secret Discoveries. Jungle Secret Discoveries come across as more likely to me than the one it's paired with. At least from what we've seen. Since Slycar and assumably his dungeon have had some changes, I'd say some secret discoveries to go alongside it is somewhat likely. Entirely new game mode. When I think of a new game mode, I think things like the festivals, guild battles, raids, loot runs, etc. So I don't count the world bosses as a game mode since it's fundamentally something that happens within the main Windcraft mode, rather than a different game mode entirely. However, considering how much they managed to pull in festival events, I think they might have a new game mode for this update as well. New Major Secret I feel like this is likely because, like, why not supplement all the content with something the Windcraft forums can act totally normal about for a few months? If there is a secret added, they aren't willing to tell us, so I'm just gonna say it's likely and leave it at that. Keep your eyes peeled, secret hunters. The following two are a maybe. I'm completely split about whether or not these will happen, because I could see it, but I could also just as easily not see it for certain reasons. These being PvP as endgame content. This is probably the first maybe because there's already so much endgame content, but I can also see it considering the only proper endgame game mode featuring PvP is Guild Warring. I wouldn't be too surprised if we see an eventual bit of endgame content which is PvP on a smaller scale than Guild Wars, since a game mode like that simply doesn't exist right now. New Loot Run Camp I think this could eventually be a thing since one could argue it could add to the variety. One could argue an earlier game Loot Run Camp could serve as a good tutorial for harder loot runs. Heck, you could even argue that the Canyon of the Lost was once loot ran in the primitive days of old loot running. So why not just plop a new Loot Run Camp there? I just think it's a toss up since the camps we do have at the moment are all very nice and make for good variety, but it wouldn't hurt to have one more. Lower down, we now have entries I'd say are unlikely. Solely because these are in the realm of major, major changes in an update which already shows so many other changes. Professions Rework The only reason I see this as unlikely is because they've already managed to change so much other stuff this update. But honestly, this is like one of the things that absolutely does need to change if more players are to get into it, because like, Holy crap, the current system is boring, gets obscenely grindy, and often downright reliant on the presence of double experience bombs once you reach the 70s or higher. There's a reason there's a prof-specific guild anchored to the Silent Expanse, and that's because guild provide profession benefits, which is a welcome thing to constantly have in the latest game gathering spot. Whether now or later, I beg for the professions to one day be reworked. No offense to any proffers, of course. Ocean Update slash Secret Discoveries I rank this as being pretty unlikely, because though the ocean is an area which is in need of some kind of update, a lot of the islands have barely been touched for years after all, this update simply already does such a large amount of things, and they've teased seemingly nothing about the ocean so far. So I greatly doubt this is a rework which will come in this update. And finally are the two most obscenely unlikely entries, one even more so than the other. I think both of these are barely possible, and if both of them are added somehow, I am going to lose my mind. New Class This is one of the most unlikely things on here, but don't get me wrong, this would also be the most hype thing of all time. Adding the first new class since December 2019 would be insane, but this would also mean a ton of work. Tons of new models, abilities, a skill tree with archetypes and weapons would all need to be released and balanced alongside it, which just sounds like a lot considering what this update is already doing. Not to mention, it would need to be different enough from the other five classes, which all cover a very healthy amount of ranges and playstyles. If they're saving a sixth entire class as a surprise for later, I'm going to straight up replay the entire game. And it's the most unlikely thing they could do for this update, except for... Bedrock version. Before I say what I'm about to say, let me preface this by saying that I'm not trying to be a dick to Bedrock players with this. It's understandable if you play on Bedrock and want Windcraft access, 
without having to swap to Java. Like, maybe you don't have a PC or something. Or prefer Bedrock. I respect it. With that said, surely there's no way this is happening, right? Bedrock runs on a completely different coding language than Java, has more major differences in the way its mechanisms work, and is generally considered the technically inferior version which only exists to satiate the need for Minecraft on other systems. Though it would be very good if they did it, since there does seem to be a rather large demand for a Bedrock version from Bedrock players, it just seems to me like it'd be too much that they've somehow pulled this off alongside everything else they've shown and more. Like, like, if this is something that's actually happening in this update, it might be the most impressive and important update they'll ever release for this server. And that's saying a lot considering not too long ago, we got an update which cultivated the five progression skill twigs to five actual skill trees. And that's every feature in the bingo. I won! Woohoo! Anyway, do you agree with all of these? Think something is more or less likely than I said? Is one of the unconfirmed features I listed actually confirmed and I'm just a doofus? Do feel free to let me know in the comments. Also, leave a like and subscribe to receive nothing in your feed, because I'm gonna go prepare for Shadows of the Yard Tree instead of making more content. Anyway, this has been Duraface, and I'm gonna attempt to become the most loathed Elden Ring player by giving Mikola Seluvis' Amber Drowned. Have a good one!